Death is another part of life. We don't know where we go, so for now it's just more dark than light. And we have theories, and we have faith. And some chase it, and some wait. And some face it, and some evade. But we all wind up in the same place, in the ground or in the grave. It's just the cycle that we live in, like a circular shaped prism, like a perpetual life prison, but the inmates are not chained. They are created and maintained. They feed each other and sustain. The life around them is all the same. We're connected through our fingers, through our blood and DNA. We are born of blood and bone. We are children made of clay. One creator built the heavens, built the world in which we play. And that creator filled this garden with all the pleasures and all the pain. And we build and break our bonds through connections every day. For our brothers and our sisters are ourselves in different ways. We're reflections of each other, simple echoes in a cave, catching words from one another, hearing voices in a maze. But this bond that lives between us, between every human being, is a bond built in heaven and you can feel it without seeing. There's the pull in your heart when you see a baby sleeping. There's the anger in your chest when you see police brutality beatings. There's the pride in your soul when you see someone stepping up, like a poor man giving charity from the coins left in his cup. There's the urge to help a stranger when you see him in need, to stop and help him change a tire or build a school for refugees. There's a sadness that we all feel when we see someone helpless, like a baby in a basket and there's no one except us, to help this kid develop into a kid and then a grown up, so we can teach his kids to own up to that feeling that fulfills us, that feeling that's within us, to help our fellow humans to a better world that's post us, to a society that provides us, with piety that sustains us, and shelter that protects us, a humanity that defines us as one.